But okay, here we go. 10 seconds. Let's do this. This program is brought to you by the uh, slumbering... What? Not the IPC? Oh, there we go. The Slumming Inter Space Corporation. We write Pentecost's paper for the university to interview the, the students here. Horizon, tourist visiting uh, <laughs> Could you share some tips for most people from visitors who want to explore the campus? Uh, I just got here myself, <laughs> and I've still got a mission to complete. Bye, Albert. <laughs> Color your dreams, free your ideals. Paper Fort University. The gold medal wind ensemble has won the Pentaconi's instrumental competition for 25 straight years. Mr. Rekka, the renowned director, is here in person to mentor us. Oh, Mr. Rekka? To join the drama society. I've never heard that name before. Run. Come all and don't miss out. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing? March, the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> uh, Albert. Have you heard of the Slumber Nana Association? They're looking for new members. Uh, you should check it out. <laughs> Slumber oh, Nana? Ninja. Yo, Rafa! You're teaching the legendary passing out ninjutsu? Uh. <laughs> the thirst for knowledge is what drives students. It's just a fucking commercial ad for a university. university. <laughs> I guess I never really thought about it. But all my friends enrolled, so I thought I'd What does this start? <laughs> what does this start to the stream? <laughs> Mark my words, I will claim the 85th Avengers will be my genius society, and I... <laughs> Seriously, all you do is talk big! Did you even attend Dr. Ratio's open lecture? And did you actually get that exchange spot at University of Veritas Prime? Also, people from the university, isn't that a an actual university in Pentagoni? Be understood by the likes of you, Mondanite. Yeah, 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 I think so. <laughs> but it's very exclusive, we arranged an exclusive interview with the... Okay, hey, Ratio. Dr. Ratio! <laughs> How do you feel about the fact that many students are hoping you'll take on the role of guest lecturer at Paperfold University? <sighs> University of Veritas Prime now offers online courses <laughs> with so many ways to pursue education. Insisting on guest lectures could be seen as nothing more than self-indulgence. All academies at Paperfold University a hundred points taken away. No. <laughs> Dr. Ratio, please hold on a second. I don't fully understand. <laughs> what is your going on? What is this start? <laughs> now let's shift our focus back to the beautiful natural surroundings of Paperfold Academy. Me. <laughs> There's an actual <laughs> monkey here. Do you have any culinary delights that you'd recommend? Seems this student what a way to start. About that, I thought we'd jump into the trailer immediately. <laughs> so, what are some must-visit spots at Paperboard University? Oh. All right. Oh, there goes the mic. Oh, there we go. That is the trailer. Okay, what a weird start. Yo, Rappa, let's go. Wait, we're actually going to school? <laughs> Who the fuck? Oh, wait, isn't that the doctor guy? Oh my god, the, the, there's actually monkeys rolling about. What the hell? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Yo, there she is. Let's just say I kind of seen her animations and uh, they look kind of sick. I shall unleash the vibrant colors of death in God, I love her design so much. It's a shame that Sanjay and uh, Chingin are next. Like bananas with a ah, what the fuck? What's that help? Never break free of its Evil. Finally, oh, yay, the professor's evil. Who would have guessed? Let us the beatific final Robin? The hell? Yo, Mudo. <laughs> Why, why is Robin at the DJ table? The hell? Oh my god, look at him! Your name will carry <laughs> ideas. Your what is going on? Your Robin becomes a fucking DJ? <laughs> so the decision is yours to make. <laughs> Dazzling Ninja reporting for duty. Okay, that was a trailer. <laughs> what the hell was going on? <laughs> I legit no idea what was going on through that entirety of that. I guess we, we go to to this paperfold university and then one well, the professor turns out, to, turns out to be super evil <laughs> and unleashes all these monkeys upon the world upon Pentecone. 
<laughs> what was going on? It's, it was just pure chaos. It, honestly, in line with the Star Rails motive. There's just monkeys everywhere. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, uh, us going to school was not on my bingo card for Star Rail predictions. <laughs> what? Also, there's a redeem code, folks. I'll type it in chat. Just so you can copy and paste. Uh, let's see. Da -da. JJ. Oh, wait, there, there you go. Alucard just typed it for me, so yeah, copy and paste that. Yeah, they just wanted to go for pure chaos there, I think. And yeah, they achieved that. Hey, all right, Albert, can you explain what's going on? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the version 2.6 Annals of Penicani's Mapo Age Special Program. What is Rappa sitting on? Why is that like spewing fire? Let's look at Albert. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> Veritas Ratio at your service. Yo. Greetings. I am the Dazzling Ninja, aka Rappa. Rappa. A warm welcome to What sounds familiar? After watching the PV just now, what are your impressions? I thought this was supposed to be an academic seminar. Why is it so chaotic again? I'd say this the, not Star Rail's pure chaos, that's why. Tony's indulgences and its academic pursuits. The campus is full of performances, graffiti, and even Rapper the Rapper. <laughs> that's right. I myself am a ninja. Yeah, probably am because I? Hertha's here that Albert, we get Sim Universe can content. You why we come back to Panacone again? <clears throat> Actually, this time. <laughs> Panacone's Paperfold University has extended an invitation to the entire cosmos. Again? This prestigious cosmic institution is preparing for a new semester and its anniversary celebrations. For this very occasion, hmm. the university is preparing to hold a truly special academic seminar. As celebrities oh boy. and shareholders of Wanna unleash just monkeys everywhere? The of the Astral Express has been invited by the university to attend the event as distinguished guests. Turns out the people of Penacani are so Probably because of Dr. Primitive? Actually, that would make sense. <laughs> the history of this university <laughs> No, I don't want to go to school. <laughs> According to legend, Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. It was initially a training ground for Dreamweavers and was founded by Glox, head of the Nightingale family. Glox huh. Avenue in Golden Hour was also named after this former dean. That's right. A dream. Yeah, it seems like we're getting a new area, like entirely. Of the real world. Which is a school of all places. <laughs> life and dreams, giving Paperfold University a unique Glox. <laughs> in its teaching methods. Dean Glox hoped that this university would provide a more open, free, and imaginative curriculum supplying the cosmos with innovative minds. So today, we have the honor of welcoming the cosmic singer and a famous Paperfold University alumna, uh, Ms. Robin, Robin. To share with the audience all there is to know about the university. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> huh? How'd we end up like this? <laughs> Not to worry, Mr. Albert. <laughs> what the heck? This was not what I was expecting. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> what the Robin Supremo gem? Or Jade? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Rocks? Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, how about we go back to the first one? <laughs> first off, what can be learned from studying? What? I thought Robin's B was just about to come out here, but man, this is just as good in my opinion. They really need a silly update after the last two. True, but can you use a comedy patch? <laughs> During the entrance ceremony, the family members will analyze the potential of students through tuning and assign them to the appropriate acad academy. No students are gonna have a hat read on the uh, read out the results, right? What's that you just said? Uh, I said 
<laughs> what makes each of the three academies stand out? The Dream Weaver Academy focuses on developing students' creativity and imagination. Here. Oh, we're getting the Darshans and <laughs> it's all real now. Oh, I, I, I can't read all of this. <laughs> I would like to read it out loud, but my throat's already getting tired. <laughs> Wait, they're the ones that made those stupid puzzles? So I have to go beat them up too. <laughs> That's inconvenience. I have another academy. The chance to be involved in Pentecost's economic affairs. The IPC also conducts camp recruitments that people for the academy. Of course they do. I knew that. It's hard to tell who's speaking, honestly. <laughs> But 80%, uh, some people have attained P40 or higher positions. But as I understand it, this academy is supposed to be churned up by notorious cosmic fraudsters. Actually, the academic research at uh, Fortune Academy is quite remarkable. For example, how shifts in so glad sales can be used to forecast the state of all. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting tired, folks. <laughs> I'm supposed to get tired of reading. Then there's a the Charmony Academy. Yeah, this is literally like the Darshans from Genshin, not to this. Is Robin's VA on strike? Uh, it's a very weird way to cover it. Oh, yeah, it, she, yeah, I guess she might be. Although, from what I've heard, I thought Hunkai Staria was one of the games that was unaffected by the strike. Hmm. Yeah, all, the Japanese VAs aren't on strike, only the English ones are. Whoa, hey, look at this place. Because <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the English agency that wants to replace voice actors with AI. So, yeah, they're the ones on strike. Not the Japanese ones, though. Hmm. Also, the Glug sculpture by teaching and building is also a famous uh, attraction. Basically, stop by to pay their respects before their exams. Oh, my God, that's so <laughs> <laughs> Literally a giant owl. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't, I didn't realize we get a fucking school update in this. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the? There's even like full on classrooms and everything. <laughs> there's just gonna be enemies roaming around the halls around the school for some reason. <laughs> Zah, what are these things doing here? <laughs> Dude, this place seems pretty expansive though. Like, holy shit. Like, look at all this. Let's look at the atmosphere. No need to stress about the studying just yet. That's one of the questions I've been meaning to ask. Where did all these monkeys come from? As far as I know, this is the latest fad on the campus. I think they're called... Slumbernana monkeys. The Slumbernana Association has drawn a lot of attention during the. Uh, it's full of students who are a big fan of the little monkey. Oh, these cuts in the trash reminds me of my younger days. Oh, so long ago. Looks like Mr. Albert is quite reminiscent. Oh, I'm curious. Where'd you graduate from, Mr. Albert? Ah. Uh, I. From Owl University. I don't think we heard of that one. <laughs> What's the full name? Snowy Oh Hoop Ho 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 University. <laughs> Snowy Owl Hoop Ho University. <laughs> Why didn't you delete that last part? Please stop using me as a sacrificial lamb to get reaction. <laughs> <laughs> no need to worry about your past, Snowy Ninja. Let's focus on Paperfold University instead. <laughs> In the version 2.6 Trailblaze Continuance mission. Oh, Banana yep, no Trailblaze mission. Battles without Ninja. Banana Outrage, outrage Battles without Ninja. Trailblaze Ninja will enter Panacone's Paperfold University as an auditing student to experience the joys of campus life. Not only will you be classmates with March 7th and Don Hung, but you'll Don also going to be friends along the way. Ah, now you've piqued my curiosity. I wonder which academy the Trailblazer will be placed in. 
I hope they can grow a few brain cells while they're in the process. They should attend Charmony Academy. Or, since the Trailblazer is now the captain of the Radiant Feldspar and a Penacony shareholder, they'll end up in Fortune Academy. Mm, given how creative they are, Dreamweaver Academy isn't out of the realm of possibility either. This is like Harry Potter, do we get to like choose which one we go to? Yes. <laughs> or probably we'll go through all three. Of course they'll make their own choice. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor has it, this year's Academy tuning test will be different from previous years, with Mr. Rekka, the famous director and guest professor at Paperfold University, acting as the examiner. Mm, that's right. All right, us all your players are finally getting an education, <laughs> like Vishu always wanted. So maybe now the Hoya players can learn how to read, finally. across the universe. To reflect Mr. Rekka's teaching methods, this year's tuning test has been turned into an audition. Why are you so excited all of a sudden, Snowy Ninja? <laughs> Naturally, as a seasoned actor myself, I've always had the dream of becoming one of Mr. Rekka's leading men. Hmm, perhaps I should join the auditions as well. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Moreover, during the anniversary, the members of the Sweet Dreams troupe We'll step in for the teachers, acting as assistant nanas and prof nanas. Assistant nanas? Prof nanas? <laughs> Sounds weird. <laughs> well, it's just as Miss Robin said earlier. Slumber Nana Monkey has become incredibly, overwhelmingly trendy at Paperfold University. Bananese is the most popular form of communication at Paperfold University. Oh, God. That's creepy. <laughs> Is this appropriate? <laughs> of course. It's perfectly appropriate. The rise of a cold. Feel like Dr. Rich is just so done with this this shit you already. Know, it's often quite bizarre. <laughs> There's usually a mastermind behind such phenomena. Do you lock out Jay's behind the algebra questions? No. The rise of Slumber Nana Monkey was entirely <laughs> natural. When something out of the ordinary happens, you can bet there's something or someone behind it. Actually, this could very now well be the sorcery of the emotionless, soulless, and merciless evil ninja. Now Asaru I think I know who Rapper kind of resembles. Rapper's kind of like her voice kind of sounds like Charlotte's this from Genshin. Kind of drivel cannot be permitted to spread. Right? Further. Like their voice patterns are Albert, very similar. Do you have any means to put a stop to it? On this point, I'd like to remind everyone of something. Remember back in 2.3 when another Oh yeah, I saw the the monkey got kid at the bird. Sent the trailblazer a message. You mean when it said Dr. Primitive actually loves to eat bananas? Uh. A masked fool would never reveal information without a twist. They're always playing pranks. Don't worry. This is exactly why I'm here in Penacani. Silver uh, Guns will also be lending me a hand. With the strength of the ninja hero, all wickedness will be purged. <laughs> Would you throw out Naruto signs? What was that what you doing? Galaxy Ranger friend, the dazzling ninja, aka Rappa. Rappa, let's see her in action. Oh damn, dude! I can't believe people say they don't like her design. It looks sick, honestly. Look at the- what's that? Is that a triple shuriken? She's fucking holding? Like a giant one? Oh my god, yeah. It's just a burst animation, right? Look at that shit! She goes into like VR mode and everything. That is so sick. Oh my god, she's legit throwing out Naruto hand signs. God, she looks so sick. According to my intel, Rappa has always she's a new overwatch character <laughs> ninja and she attributes everything in the world to ninjutsu it's as if the world she sees is different from everyone else her world is filled with ninjas and ninjutsu mm. so her entire worldview is fundamentally different from others no matter the way of the ninja has many forms but they all converge in the end even if our ways of speaking differ, I am certain we ninjas will understand one another. For instance, when she mentioned I don't think that's Charlotte's VA, Shura, is it? She was actually referring Because she to sounds she sounds a lot she like also Charlotte. Calls Dun Hung Ninja Hiryu. Ninja Hiryu. The baseball bat ninja. Correct. 
Can you guess who Ninja Ruri and the Songstress Ninja are? Ruri is referring to March 7th. And I suppose the Songstress Ninja is Miss Robin? Exactly. Twirling Ninja is truly a master of the erudition. She has already grasped the way of the ninja. Twirling? <laughs> <clears throat> Due to her unique way of perceiving the world, Rappa tends to identify key features of things and then describe them using ninja. Doctor Richard calling a special. Basically, <laughs> she sees everything around her through a ninjutsu lens. Oh. <laughs> By the way, the name Rappa is quite unusual. Does it have any special meaning? It means, of all ninjutsu methods, this name suggests my heart shall remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted. This is the way ordained by the Great Lan. In essence, it means wiping out evil and standing up for justice, <laughs> which is the core belief of the Galaxy Rangers. I've heard that Rapper rescued travelers being chased by combat apes, freed experimental test subjects persecuted by evil ninjas, chased by and combat helped apes. a village that was tricked by the evil ninja Rosaru, among many other such deeds. It seems as if Rapper's heart really will remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted as for rapper's unique way of speaking all will be revealed in the version 2.6 trailblaze continuance mission all right Thank you, snowy ninja for your insightful explanation i am excited are we gonna to see like not show what she does meeting of ninjas at Paperfold like University. her skill and her, what her alt does is know, it just rapper, pure damage undoubtedly notice her strong commitment to justice and a fierce opposition to evil, traits shared by all Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> exactly. You can better understand her mindset, mm -hmm. and combat style. As fellow Galaxy okay, Rangers never mind. <laughs> once said, only Porcaroni seems <laughs> really strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next, let's dive into a demonstration of Miss Rappa's ninjutsu. When I use my technique, Whoa, I am she's a fucking skateboard? Swiftly moving forward, attacking. No, no, that's not a skateboard, that's a hover. She's skating so on her fucking shuriken. Jutsu, huh? What the hell? There's graffiti all over the place. Are you sure you didn't pick this up from a certain hacker? Wait, uh? is, is that a skateboard you're standing on? <laughs> this is a ningu. Time to unleash a flurry of ninjutsu technique. Yeah, she's surfing on her fucking combat in giant shuriken. State, I reduce the toughness of all enemies irrespective More of the types. <laughs> During battle, Rappa's skill will inflict imaginary type damage on all enemies. Okay. After activating my ultimate, I enter the seal form state. Gain a certain God, this animation is like way too sick. <laughs> Demon Bane, Petal Blade. Aha. Uh -huh, oh my god, you go first person mode and everything. Yeah, you play Overwatch. Oh, take a look. The opponent is a new enemy which will appear in version 2.6, the Banacademic Office. What We're getting banana TV now? Banacademics publishing. What the fuck? Oh, they're a team title? together. This is the Green Bananas Ultimate Combo. Oh move. shit. Fear not the approaching foes. The first few hits of Ningu Demon Bang Petal Blade deal imaginary blast damage, and the final hit deals imaginary to all enemies. During hmm. seal form, my weakness break efficiency is increased. Oh, of Allowing course. Me to reduce the toughness of enemies even without imaginary weakness. All right, Rob May's gonna be our best it. teammate. Dazzling tags, hidden blades. That's just a tease for a ninja like me. Taking evil is a breeze. Ain't afraid of no enemy. Bring in the heat. Time to show them real skills. A oh shit! Be beat. With danger ahead, weakness type ignored. In the dojo, no luck, just power explored. Reduce Yo! Toughness, <laughs> cut them down with ease. Every strike I hit brings them to their knees. Uh -huh. Yo! Oh, bars, let's go. <laughs> Is this the ninja mantra that Rappa was talking about? Dude, yeah, you just start rapping out of nowhere. I mean, her, her name's called Rappa. Famous singer Rail to perform Rappa's BB song, No Dazzle, No Break. Oh shit, she's gonna this get a music video? Teach you all shit. What real essence of the ninja mantra is about. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Great. And now it's time to oh, take a look at version okay. 2.6's batters. In oh, phase one, it's just Rappa? Trailblazers can acquire the limited five no, 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 it can't be. Rappa. Lynx, Shrey, and Yukong. That, okay, those are pretty good four stars. Yeah, the four stars on this one is actually pretty good. And just so you all know, and Viper Lune, yo! Oh, I, I kind of forgot about him. Is yeah, okay, now it makes sense that he's returning. Limited five-star light cone brighter than the sun will become available once again. 
the four star light cone dreams montage oh god has also been added to this banner. why is this guy on the light cone in two points Acheron? half warp event already just can acquire the limited five star character Acheron. i mean what limited what i mean already Lyco, yeah black swan if you run already of course she will be fuck <laughs> The drop rates of the limited five Eventually star too. Oh, Eventually, no. and the limited five star light cone inherently unjust destiny. Don't do this, Hoyo. Wrap us already <laughs> dead. Time for a short break. The program will resume. In March Sapo and Pela as the four stars, though. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. What the fuck? Is it is this a hidden up this video? She's cooked. Rappa's cooked. I'm sorry. You put Acheron and Aventurine after Rappa. I'm sorry. Her banner sales are going just down, 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 and down. Seriously, what am I seeing right here? I'm just gonna go type the redemption code before I get addicted to the song or something. Like, what the hell? I feel like this video is trying to hypnotize me. Yeah, especially with Sunday and Tingun coming in the, in uh, 2.7. Hoyo wants our damn money. This feels like... Is this what it's like to be on an acid trip? I've never taken drugs before, but I feel like that's what it's like. Welcome back! Let's keep showcasing the exciting and vibrant... Sound cuts a ninjutsu universe. inscription. Oh, yeah, free Lycon. Well, luckily for me, I already have Acheron and Aventurine, so I can... And in Bible Lunae too, so I can safely skip this patch. It's the high Even though Rapid looks pretty sick to play. Where students from different academies but will Sunday and sing it, man. I, I have to. Events sound hunt ninjutsu inscription. The trailblazer can take part in the Dreamlight Anniversary Music Party as the band manager, working with the band leader, the dazzling ninja hero, aka Rapper, leading the band in performances. Is there? Is this gonna be like a music event? Like, are we gonna get like career path? And now a band the birth of manager? events, like we get for Genshin what exactly sometimes. What does a band manager even do? To create an enchanting ninja music that touches the audience, the honor. Oh yeah, I also saw that again. The Sunday uh, four star light cone. In discovering musical inspiration. Whoa. Well, that's right. The trailblazer will journey around the, the UI, world, though. exploring places where peculiar rhythm patterns have appeared, and record the unique musical beats. For example, the bird duet at Paperfold University in putting your response. Oh, yep, it is a rhythm event. And patterns of the music and the birds. Just a heads up, if you accidentally miss a beat, the whole performance might fall apart. <laughs> Time to put the trailblazers. Oh my god, the cats. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> will feature three performances on the central stage. That's adorable. <laughs> the distinct style. The band manager's goal is to ensure all three shows go off without a hitch. After collecting enough audio tracks, the trailblazer can arrange and edit the tracks. Well, you can make your own music in this? Composition. Once the composition is completed, the background music got, that's the sick, actually. will change accordingly. Band members will take the stage and the lighting and some set pieces will move to the rhythm of the music. Sway to the cosmic beat That's kind of sick, actually, that you can, course, like, yeah, there's a legit music editor in this event. <laughs> with the band, many music-loving friends will step in to offer their help. Such as the musical veterans from the band Mechanical Fever, or Miss Robin, a graduate. That is, of yeah, that's pretty sick, Academy. actually. Oh, Yo, Robin. Are very supportive of this new band. Finish the event to receive the four-star. Oh band my God! Lyco look, look at that light cone. Record, sound hunt. Rap out Robin, and I, I, I'm not sure if we got this character's name yet. Is this Rekka or Back to Primitive? I, I don't know. Furthermore, mm. as an outstanding band manager, the honorable baseball bat ninja is responsible for resolving the members' emotional struggles and inspiring the entire band to work together harmoniously. Yeah, Mr. Rekka. Okay. I suppose it's to be expected. Band members we get to see Serval? Wait, we do? Did I miss that? It's only oh, I must have looked away so at, long at the wrong time. The band, drops out of school, or starts lying to each other, everything will be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps the band will experience a whirlwind of emotional highs and lows, going through tears and laughter. 
before <laughs> successfully pulling off their final show. Oh, okay, the light code's destruction. Okay. Be giving it my all every Sorry, I was just reading chat at the wrong time. So, is there any other intriguing content in version 2.6, or is that all? That's not all. Mr. Colfi's pop-up shop. The Trailblazer will receive an offer from a familiar face to work together. Once Rillo six Sampo seems to be preparing for some new business venture in Bellabog. Pretty Sampo suspicious, but what if you could get something out of this? Sampo? Business opportunity. He's gearing up to open a Mr. Coldfeet store, <laughs> which deals in memes, and he's inviting the Trailblazer to invest and make a fortune. What are you doing? Without a I'm doubt, glad he's back, but Sampo what the hell is he up to? Sampo <laughs> ultimate wheeler dealer. Uh, I wouldn't trust any money-making schemes that come from a masked fool. Rest assured, <laughs> old Sampo might have tricked all his pals, but he never deceived the Trailblazer. During the Mr. Coldfeet store event, Hi, all Sampy. the Trailblazer needs to do is submit different materials to Sampo each <laughs> Okay, day. it's pretty much like the event events, yeah. Like Plus, you'll be able to see Sampo's are leaving. <laughs> all corners of the universe have to say about the merchandise. Damn. So he only spares the Trailblazer from his tricks? <laughs> <laughs> According to the rumors, oh. other than working with the Oh, this Boot Hill event's ninja, back. Baseball Bat Ninja will be entrusted with another special task from Win Chi Chi in version 2.0. Yeah, did we have this in um Don't version 2.1, was it? Another wanted notice for Boot Hill. Ha, given that Boot Hill's bounty keeps rising, it's no wonder everyone is searching for him. Yes, no one caught this man by now. Is to collect information on the recent yep, it's the, the uh, yeah, assignment and events. Uh -huh. In the shadow of the Ranger event, the Trailblazer must complete different assignments. Nothing much, but you get pr pretty funny Galaxy flavor text Ring. here and there. Plural. Seems like Rappa is also under investigation. Where the Galaxy oh, Rappa Rings too? Go, you'll find both justice and bounties. <laughs> Let's all thank so she's being hunted, she okay. In addition to these events, Yo, see me let's go. go. The much a noble domain. Universe DLC update. Who is this? And Lisa? Is that you? Time, a massive void known as the unknowable domain has appeared within the simulated universe. Originally, was that like adult Herta? The simulated universe was in the process of simulating a historical Like actual Herta, not the puppet. The strife, which followed the Second Emperor's War. Yeah, I think that's actually uh, her to herself. That's a far too many confusing ninja phrases to understand. <sighs> Let's go, yeah, new Treating SU. Kind of I, I needed this. Takes more than a day. God, Albert, Golden Gears was fun. provide a more detailed explanation for everyone. <laughs> I get it. After all, it's a research topic that only geniuses would understand. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, there's also some juicy gossip about Yeah, this, 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 I didn't say limited anywhere, so it has to be permanent. So, what exactly is the Scholar Strife? <laughs> it's quite a long story. <laughs> After Emperor Rupert II's death, uh. many scholarly factions fought tooth and nail for his legacy. <laughs> the right to distribute and use the Scepter System's computational resources. In short... <laughs> The Scepter System is a cluster of inorganic bionic neurons. Dude, Herta really has like a giant scepter. freaking hat. I'm assuming this Herta, by the way. Unit and had incredible Please let adult capacity. Herta be playable. <laughs> After the Second Emperor's War, numerous intact Scepter units were handed over to the Intelligentsia Guild by the IPC for research. For scholars, even gaining access to just 1%. Yes, I guess he's like might get some, some more lore in this one too. Which I'm excited for. Drastically reduce the difficulty of their research and significantly speed up their results. This disparity in productivity is what ultimately fueled the scholar's strife. As for the unknowable domain, it involves a personal rumor about Madame Herta. Mm. Can we even talk about this, madam? I have nothing to be ashamed of, and I wouldn't exactly label it as a rumor either. Even for a genius such as myself, the journey of scientific research is not without its challenges. My research goal is to expand the total knowledge of the universe. But every time I feel on the verge of a breakthrough, some inexplicable obstacle seems to arise, hindering my progress. It looks like even the great twirling ninja has her setbacks from time to time. Hmm. And I believe that this unknowable domain is one of those inexplicable obstacles. 
is preventing us from gaining specific knowledge and unearthing a particular part of history. Correct! Thus, the great Madame Herda has decided to simulate the Scepter System, resurrect Emperor Rupert II, oh, and add a fifth collaborator to the simulated universe in order to push resurrect him? research bottleneck. Hello? Let's get straight to the point. I need the Trailblazers' help to gather data on the Scepter. As okay. a result, the combat rules in this simulated universe will be completely different from the previous ones. In the Ooh, simulated complete universe, difference? a knowable domain, the Trailblazer's combat buffs, will be centered on the scepter and its components. The Trailblazer can acquire and equip up to three scepters, each possessing unique offensive effects oh, and charging okay. conditions. Oh, okay. It's kind of like the, uh, that raccoon are, arcade event with, with like the weapons. Attacks on the enemy. Oh, we, okay, we can finally get to fight Huli again. Also acquire components and decision components that can be equipped onto the scepter, creating extraordinary combo effects during Okay. Combat. Oh, and how exactly do components differ from decision components? Components provide significant boost to the effects of the scepter. Decision components. I think, in other words, it's like, yeah, you get like weapons, and quote unquote, and then you can mod set weapons. Of which the scepter can be used. Uh. Also creating powerful synergies between multiple scepters. Oh, get ready to be massively OP again. Look at that. Cool is getting deleted. Oh, what the? That just seems busted. You can also combine lower tier components to create higher tier ones, granting more significant combat boosts. Overriding components to change their type is also possible. Oh, okay. In the, this, this mechanic is still During the here. the initial phase of exploration, the Trailblazer can collect scepters in different domains and equip them with. Okay, so it's the same like layer of DU, power. but. In the mid to late phase, this is the completely can new. Strategically combine scepters and components, creating powerful synergies between multiple scepters to defeat the final formidable foe. I trust the Trailblazer comprehends huh. everything by now, don't they? Go ahead and run the tests, and be sure I receive a report as well. <laughs> Those just seem OP. Yo, new light code, let's go. Wait, four stars? Four star light cones? <laughs> oh shit, that's the, uh, from the limited light cones. Allowing trailblazers who missed out to purchase them. To bring those back. Oh, tutorial missions can now be restarted Yo. too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's Oh shit, and I, I need that. I need the Silver Wolf light code immediately. Oh fuck, you can buy them now! Let's go! Actually fucking pog! <laughs> Cause I wasn't here in 1.1. I, I missed out on the Super Wolf Lycone and I regretted it. And yes, I, I, I can just buy it. Oh shit, big W for new players. Big, big W. Let's go! <laughs> Uh, the only one, I think the only ones I have are like the Gwei Knife and Lycone and the Robin Lycone, and that's it. <laughs> uh, not the Robin one, the uh, well, the, the one meant for Robin. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm snagging the, the, that Silver Wolf Lycone immediately. That is so good. I'm, I'm gonna guess they're like gonna do this from now on. Like, all the event Lycones are just gonna go to Simi Universe. <laughs> like, if you did miss out on the events. Actually, great. Actually, fucking awesome. Big, big W for, for Star Rail. <laughs> Genshin, do the same. Do the same for like all the weapons you are. Uh, like yeah. Welcome back, y'all. In version two point six, we have some new materials to introduce to everyone. Stagnant shadows. Yeah, I need, I need the tutorial. Like one. Soon, oh. And by successfully beating it, you can oh, okay. The There's a new boss for Rappa. Okay. Characters. Cavern of Corrosion. Path of Uncertainty is also... Wait, new relics too? Successfully beat it to be rewarded with two relic sets. Secure doses, relived ordeal, and scholar lost in erudition. Okay. Indeed. Can we see what they do? The oh. Event will hey, be double returning. traces, double materials. Double this rewards. again? Okay. Up next is the gift of Yo, free temple. It's just gotta be. Save me those for Sunday. <laughs> Not bad, Albert. It seems like you've unknowingly learned the ninja mantra. All right, everyone. That brings us to the I end saw Sunday's earring. Episode. Yeah, th that might be uh, relic Take meant for Sunday. We'll see you all so we can begin pre-farming. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Bye-bye. Bye. Farewell. <laughs> Fare thee well. Not a bad update, actually. This, this update actually looks pretty darn good. I'm especially hyped for SU. Yo, yo, yo. Oh. A special program coming at you live. Herta? What? <laughs> Uh, why are we rapping all of a sudden? <laughs> this is the Ninja Mantra.
Ninja Mantra Special Mastery Edition. Now put your betters together for the IPM's cutest host, <laughs> Fat Beak. It's Albert's time to shine. Oh my, what the heck is this? Albert on the grind over time, master of even rhymes. Yo! Promotion got the paid away on my mind. Yo! Remember the golden days of everything so fair and brief. Oh! Lose my mind and my lust back to the IPC. Yo! Pay the tax train. Pure corruption. Barely sleeping. Always sleeping. Driving to come, driving to come. Reach the highest heights. Top floor officer looking into the starry sky. Slash cut clean. Cheer up, Albert, time for us. Oh my god, this is so fucking clean. Couple ages, the Dharma's the team is making a mess. Trying to claim their harder, better, stronger, faster than the rest. Inside the ninja's heart, shines a light to defend that carries on to the end. The will refuses to bend. The way of the ninja, great land on my side. The hunt's Lux arrow is my compass and guide. Oh, hurts and voice hurts a rat thing. All aboard the universe is number one. Ratio? <laughs> the express is approaching its destination. Next stop, Paper Fold University. This is so Please fucking stupid. I love it. Personal belongings with you. The Mapo age is about to begin. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> why in fuck did I decide to join? In? <laughs> oh, what a, what a great fucking live stream. What what a, what a great great live stream. <laughs> your story has gone true chaos at this point true fucking chaos through and through bro i honestly want to i want to know what the va thoughts were what, like it, like i want to go on like uh like uh albert's va's twitter and also ratios and i, I just want to know what their reactions were <laughs> when they, when like hoya just said yeah you need to rap for this special program it's like what <laughs> yeah ratio kicks fucking ass like but i, I was just kind of surprised he kind of joined in because <laughs> why did he <laughs> why in the hell did he do that but yeah great freaking live stream okay so yeah new story uh rappers obviously coming and the banner is going to be rapper uh in Bible Lune. Phase one, and then uh, fucking Acheron and Aventurine in phase two, which is <laughs> all I got to say is just rip rapper. And yeah, all the events look pretty fun. Like the music making one looks especially cool, and the fact uh, the new semi reverse like permanent game mode it also looks pretty cool as well. Uh, it seems very similar to DU, but I guess we we'll have to play it ourselves to see. Oh, but the 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 best part is uh, being able to buy the previous light cones that were in previous events that we that. Yeah, <laughs> players like who messed out on those ones couldn't get previously. Like, I couldn't get tutorial because... I couldn't get it because I didn't start uh, Staria until, like, 1.6. And at that point, I missed out on, like, several events at that point in time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's coming back so I can just rebuy it and, like, actually put that on Silver Wolf and uh, <laughs> build some more of my Nihility characters. Actually, I wonder if that, that Nihility, like, will be good on, like, uh, uh, yeah, Fugue Ting Yun. Maybe, well, maybe. Yeah, it's actually some of the events don't have gameplay. I will say that. Like, one of them is Lieben, and one of them is just assignment-based. So just, it's basically a daily login event. And just uh, with extra steps. It might help out this is right. Uh, Rappa's mats might be Sunday's mats. That's true, actually. Isn't Sunday imaginary? There's so many imaginary men nowadays. It's like, <laughs> just expect any uh, five-star, like, male to be imaginary. <laughs> That's another one to the end. Uh, the imaginary house bandits collection. Going Honey Hunter? Uh... I mean, I would, but I don't... Actually, yeah, since we've seen things from 2.6 anyways, I guess it wouldn't hurt to, I guess, go on the leak site for a bit. Or I could just look up 2.6 HSR relics. I only just looked this up because uh, Hoy is just, is just gonna reveal it anyways. Do we have any idea what they do? Okay, yeah, just some leaks here. Let's see. Scholar Lost in Air Edition increases crit rate by 6% on the two-piece. Increases damage dealt by ultimate and skill by 20%. After using ultimate, additionally increases the damage dealt by next skill by 20%. Wow, that's a that's a pretty darn good relic set. Assuming this is what they're going to release with. Like, these are just beta, so they could be changed for all we know by the live version. But damn, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, definitely an air edition set for sure. Like, I can see that being useful for, like, Herta. Uh, Jade, potentially. Oh, wait, no, Jade's, <laughs> Jade's skill doesn't do damage. Um, but yeah, this could be good on a number of characters. That's actually pretty darn good. And then the other one, which is definitely Sunday. Like, look, this is his drip. These are his gloves. This is his coat. <laughs> uh, that's definitely meant for him. Uh, Scaradeo's re Relift Order. Increases speed by 6%, which is a two-piece. Uh, when using skill or ultimate on one party target, increases the target's crit damage by 20% for two turns. 
This effect can stack up to two times. Wait, what? Stack up to two times? Oh, on a single party target. So it only like rewards single target buffs. So I guess that could be good on like Branya, uh, Tingyun, like regular Tingyun, and just any any characters that do single buffing. Okay, so it's not gonna work on team buffs like it would with um like yeah with Robin and whatnot. Still though, that seems pretty good for like like Sparkle, I think. Like Sparkle and probably also Sunday himself. That's a pretty good relic set. That is really, really good. And it stacks up to two times as well, so you can just straight up give the character 40% uh, crit damage if um like yeah, if you just use your skill twice on them. That is actually pretty good. Also, um, eh, since we're looking at leaks anyway, so I might as well check out what the new light cone is. Dreams Montage. It's, yeah, that's the new FTB light cone with uh, <laughs> Rekka's creepy face on it. Oh, it's an, an abundance light cone. Okay. I thought it was destruction there for a second. Uh, increases the wear speed by 8%. After attacking enemies that are weakness broken, regenerate 3 energy. This can trigger up to 2 times in battle. As an attacking weakness broken enemy specifically. And then max refinement, it's 12 speed. And then regenerate 5 energy. This can happen to 2 times per turn. So like a free 10 energy if you like hit them twice. Like and then like maybe hit them with your ultimate. Is that good for like maybe... That sounds like it could be good for like Ling Sha. Actually no no no. They scale break effect. No no no. It probably is better for like Bailu or like Lynx and whatnot. Okay not, not a bad light by any means. It's just kind of underwhelming the effects. Yeah, it, it just honestly seems a bit underwhelming. Yeah, this uh, this like doesn't seem as great as the other like limited light cones. And then yeah, I guess we can go to uh, wrap a signature light cone. Increases the wearer's break effect by sixty percent after ending battle. He immediately regenerates thirty energy. That's pretty good. After wearer uses ultimate, obtains ration. After using two basic attacks, events the wearer's action by fifty percent and then removes ration. So you just get a free advance forward after using two basic attacks after using ultimate. After the wearer uses ultimate, resets ration. That could be good for like, yeah, just hyper speed comps. Huh. And also break effect as well. So she's definitely 100% another break effect character. So yeah, pair, pair her up with the usual. Ron May, uh, imaginary trailblazer, and then just anybody else. Also, what is this light cone? It's a new four star that's coming in. Oh, well, no, this is the FTB light cone. This is the one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the one that's given in the event. I think the other one was just like one you can get in the banners. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely this one that is like for free. Uh, actually, let's look at the S5. Increases the wearer's max HP by 24%. When losing or restoring HP, increases crit damage by 36% for two turns. Is that a blade buff? Wait, is that a blade light code? <laughs> Yeah, that, that looks like good for Blade. And then potentially uh, Jing Liu too, to some extent, and also Arlen. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Jing Liu drains others' HP, not her own, so not good for her. Yeah, I guess it's, this is a, a bit of a Blade buff that people have been wanting. I'm not sure if this is going to make Blade meta by any means, but hey, it's potentially good on good on him. But okay, folks, I think... Uh, yeah, to, I meant to end this a while ago, but I think that's probably a good place to end things off for today's stream, everybody. Oh man, 10.6 looks stacked, honestly. It looks really, really stacked, and I absolutely cannot wait for it. It's it's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. Be sure you drop a like on the stream if you enjoyed my reaction and our, you know, bit of an analysis to uh, the 2.6 special program, because it does really support the channel. Subscribe as well if you want to catch some more uh, Zenless Genshin or Punkai Solver content from me, because I will be for sure playing 2.6 on day one and uh, playing everything. And also, yeah, go check out my Twitch channel as well, my Let's Play Twitch channel, where I play games other than uh, the, the Hoya titles to, uh, you know, just for my own sake. <laughs> just playing games that I've been wanting to play for a while, and I've just never found myself the time to do so. But yeah, for 2.6, I'm for sure be uh, probably trying to do the main story and probably maybe del delving a bit into the Steam Universe stuff, and also, you know, pre-farming for Sunday. <laughs> heavily, heavily pre-farming for Sunday before he releases, like, in the next update. But okay, boys, it is time for me to uh, head off now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys again for the next live stream. All right, but all of that said, guys, thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you guys again for the next live stream. Take care, y'all. Have a good night, and I'll see y'all again next time. Alrighty, boys. See ya.